Hey guys, so welcome to the channel. I'm making this video so I've officially passed 12 subscribers. <laughs> we at 13 now. Yeah, I, I would do a Q&A, but no one's really asked me any questions yet, so uh, you know, we'll just build that up over time. But um, And I haven't really had the opportunity to share much about myself uh, for those of you who have seen a video of mine before, so I'm like, maybe it's a good chance to just share a little story you know, from my time so far in med school. That's why I made this video, you know, so uh, sit back and enjoy. So first week in med school. For, the story starts about a couple of weeks before I actually started my first week. Um, I was in Rajasthan in India um, and Agra. And uh, the first half of my trip to India, I'd planned it out like last year. Um, but I was going to see family that I had there. I am Indian if you did not realize that. Uh, and then the second half of the trip was kind of just doing a bit of sightseeing because I'd never really properly explored um, India, especially I had, I'd never seen Taj Mahal, so I'm like, definitely got to check that off. But um, I actually remember the day we got our emails about like when uni would start and like how the whole week would be planned out because I was at the Taj Mahal and I had literally the worst food poisoning you've ever seen in your life. like. I had vomited at least three times when we were at the Taj Mahal, just in random toilets, and um, it was just a mess. If you see some of the photos I took, it was so bad because I looked so drunk in all of my photos, and I was so sad because I really wanted to take a good photo, but I was just cooked, you know? And um, I couldn't do that, and then I got the email, and I was like, okay, so we... we Alright, so we're starting on like the 2nd of February and something. I was like, hang on a second. Hang on a second. I, I booked my flights to India that I'd come back on like the 31st of January. So I had literally had like two days to go home, unpack, say goodbye to all my friends and family, repack, drive 1200 kilometers. So I'm like, how am I going to do this? I'll be fine. So I come home. And um, after a 14 hour flight, and I was just like, all right, let's 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 start unpacking and repacking. And then of course my girlfriend's like, you gotta spend the afternoon with me. So, you know, I'm like, all right, put those plans on hold. And then went to see her then came back and I was like, all right, let's, let's start packing and stuff. And then I'm like, how am I gonna do all this? And, um, and it was like 11 p.m. on a Saturday and I'm like, you know, and I'm pretty crazy, like, you know, like I, I don't mind pushing myself to the limits, but um, I was like, you can't do this. Like, I was, I hadn't slept properly in like two days, you know, traveling around India and the flight home. I still hadn't picked my Spotify playlist for the road trip. You know, I hadn't picked what audio book I listened to, podcasts. I still had to do all that. You know, how was I going to pass the time for 12 hours in the car? And um, I hadn't, I hadn't really considered how long 12 hours is because the most I'd ever driven was like maybe seven hours on my trip to, to New Zealand. I emailed emailed the uni and I was like, look, you gotta, you gotta give me Monday off. And the problem was like, at the start they're like, you know, it's compulsory, you know, like it's the, it's the day that you meet everyone, introduce yourself, so you should go. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm gonna die, you know, like if I do that. So they were kind of like, all right, all right, we'll give you a day off. And um, so I, I do that. So I'm like, all right, I got, I got a bit of room to breathe. I got a day. So I managed to finish packing all that, you know, get a sick ass Spotify playlist up. The book I ended up reading was, I think it was Handmaid's Tale, which is actually really good. Like you should read it. And um, you know, a few podcasts and stuff. And I dropped a few presents off that I got from India off to one of my friends so she could give it to all, all my friends that I had at uni, like, because I wouldn't see them for ages again. So I thought it'd be like a nice little, you know, adios kind of goodbye present. So I was like, all right. So we packed, we got everything ready. And I realized I want to make it before sunset as well. So I was like, all right, 12 hours. I'm going to have to leave, you know, five, six am just so i can make it all, all most of the trip in in the daytime so i was like all right 5 a.m you know i'm fucking sun's up you know let's crack on let's crack on you know packing everything putting everything in the car and then making the big trip but before i left i realized i had another big problem i went to 
I went to save everything on Google Maps, like the route, because like a lot of it had no service because I was driving in whoop whoop, you know, between cities and towns. And um, I realized that Google Maps only saves like one little section of the map and it was just too far across to save it all. So I was like, hmm. So I had to like plan my stops in between uh, Adelaide and Canberra. So then I could actually, I could actually um, re-download the maps along the way so I could make it there in the end. So um, that was a bit, I was a bit like, whew, we going solo, you know, we going off road. So I'm in the car, you know, I got my, Got my Red Bulls here in the side in the side car door. I got my freaking I got my snacks in the center glove compartment. I've got a few few things scattered around, you know, a few tokens from home, a few bit of memorabilia, you know, got some water bottles there, just for, you know, just in case man gets dehydrated. And um and then I'm like I'm ready to go, you know, and, and we just drive and we just drive and few detours I had to take because they were doing some roadworks and stuff. So that put a dent in it. And I didn't have the maps. So I'm like, all right, we're just going to have to guess which way we're going here. <laughs> but um, it was all right. I managed to get there in the end. And one of my big worries before I arrived was that, um, like, to book my, like, the place I was staying at, I was staying at, with a private landlord. I only had, like, one phone call. So I'm like, I don't know if this is going to go through. I don't know if I'll ever talk to them. I didn't know anything about them. But then I, once I arrived, I realized they're all really nice. They're all, they're a really lovely family. Like, I'm really happy to stay there. And, um, but when I got out of the car, it was, like, the tail end of bushfire season. So you could just smell the smoke. And I was like... And I knew when I was coming from Ca coming into Canberra because there's just this big, big pillar of black smoke in the background of the city. And I'm like, oh no, I'm going to die from smoke inhalation in my first week of med school. But it's all right, they contained the fires. It was all right, we made it, you know. Thank our uh, Australian firefighters for that one. I literally just pack, unpacked as much as I could and just passed out because I like it. I'm done. Right, I'm tired. I haven't slept properly in like two days. In more than two days. I probably hadn't slept lately probably in like five or six days because I was still like kind of like sick from the food poisoning. And um, yeah, and I was, and I was, but I was feeling a bit better. I was feeling a bit optimistic, you know, first day of medical school. This is it. We're here, baby. You know, three long years of grinding and, and not knowing where I'd be and I'm finally here. So I was pretty happy. So I rock up the next day, first day of uh, uni, and um, I was a bit lost. I didn't really know where much of it was. I'd been there once in my interview, but after that, I, I didn't really know how the layout or it was or where the lecture room was. But luckily, I found a found a group of people kind of pulling pulling outside the lecture theater. So I kind of just just uh, just waited out there. And then I didn't know anyone. Like a few people already started to mingle um, the day before. But um, we walked in and we had the weirdest lecture. I remember like, I think it was like our health and well-being coordinator or something. They were just like, half of you will break up. And, and me and my girlfriend, we were just new to the whole long distance relationship thing. So I was like, oh, I didn't need that personal attack, you know, on the first day of uni. But um, he also said like, you know, med students have a habit of dating each other. and you know, getting it on with each other. So don't be surprised if that starts happening later on down the track. And I was like, okay, thanks for that information. You know, it was a bit weird, but uh, we got through it. And then we actually had free lunches and dinners for the first week um, at ANU. So like they're kind of just fattening us up and like pampering us before they just shovel that content down our throats. But um it was good. It was really good food as well. We had pizzas and Subway and like real healthy stuff, you know, like keeping our brain sharp, you know, for that information overload. And like for anyone who doesn't know me, like, you know, after we were like sitting outside, like I'm not, I'm not a guy with like the highest IQ or like, you know, the best looking. <laughs> the bit making friends stuff, I wasn't really worried about, you know, like, comes pretty naturally to me and and then the rest of the week was pretty relaxed um, all we did really was just um, just 
just kind of do some introductory coursework, which I'd already done in my undergrad. So it was more for the people without a science background, trying to get them into a few of things. Um, and and then we get to the end of the week, and um, they actually booked booked the club for us that Friday night. The student committee did. So we were getting ready to go in the club, and I was like, you know, there's girls there at the club. If you hadn't noticed, and you know, I was just new to the whole long distance relationships thing. So I'm like, I want to stay loyal, you know, just let it go. But you know, the animal inside of me was just like, you've had a stress away. You need a boogie for a while, you know. So I'm like, all right. So I went down, managed to avoid talking to any girls. <laughs> I hope my girlfriend doesn't see this because. <laughs> It's alright, she doesn't like my videos anyway, so, yeah, so, you know, I, I ended up passing out in the car park, like, in my car, you know, drove home the next day, so it was all good, but, um, yeah, that was a really fun night, actually, I'm, I'm glad I went, like, I met a lot of people, you know, got very drunk, and, uh, you know, just the usual first week in med school things, but, yeah, so it was, it was pretty stressful, but I ended up, you know, meeting my closest friends there, you know, like, I had such a good time, it was so fun, and, um, med school has just continued to get more and more enjoyable, you know, as it's gotten harder, like, I really, I really love the whole environment, um, yeah, so that was my first week of med school, um, some of the experiences I had, I thought I might just throw this video out there, because, you know, everyone's experiences of uni is different, you know, even if you're at the same uni, across countries, you know, across different generations, so, um, some people dive straight into all the pre-reading and everything, some people take it as it goes, but, um, you yeah, know, so I hope you enjoyed my little story at slash road trip, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you, see you guys soon. Let's, let's, let's get it past 13, you know, let's get it past 13 subscribers. <laughs> uh, so have a great day. Uh, this is, this is Cher. Namaste. Bye. Damn.